it here. Oh, let's remove this image on the right and let's insert the standard existing calendar. This is SharePoint out of the box. Calendar, nothing special about it. And I just want to bring to your attention, usually when you put the calendar here, uh, SharePoint by itself leaves a little bit empty space, so I always need to go and remove it manually. You can see it right away. If I edit the HTML source, there's like an empty paragraph on the top. So you need to remove it manually. You cannot do it from the design. Okay. And uh, according to Chief our design today, I just want to present you a really cool slideshow for the home page. It's actually produced by a company called uh, SPZAP. And once you put this slideshow on the home page, actually you achieve a little bit interaction, so it's no longer a static, boring page with few tastes and some images. Once you put the slideshow, because it's changing also the images right away, so they have right, nice fading effects. And when the business users see it, they right away like it because it's no longer static text. It gives you a little bit interaction and almost everybody that I show this slideshow, they all like it. So it's right now I deploy it as a web, it's custom, it's a web part. I just deploy it to the SharePoint. Okay, we add it. As you can see, select picture library, we need to configure it first. Basically, it's using uh, the standard picture libraries, but it's actually a little bit extended. We just added a few more fields to the standard picture library. So I'm going to create a new one. So it's going to be home page images. Let's see, okay, let's create the picture library. Yeah, sure so you can select uh, some particular view if you don't want to see all the pictures within the library. You can create a view, filter the images, and then use this view for the slideshow web part. You have also a bunch of uh, different options, themes, sliding effects. So for this case, I'm going to use again the sidebar preview, the preview sidebar position like it on the left. I'm not sure about the image size because it actually depends on the resolution of your site. So I'm just going to put something like 580 probably. I hope it will be not long enough. Then the image preview width is going to be 133. Image preview width. I'm just put something and later we'll just adjust it. I'm not sure. I never do it from the I never managed to do it from the very first time. So it requires some additional to play a little bit. Okay, slight overlay hit. Increase it a little bit. Actually, you can see the, there's a bunch of properties for the background colors, for the overlay colors, for um, actually for the title, for the title. Okay, for the title. Basically, it's, okay, it's white. I'll make it look exactly like the screenshot I'm showing you. So let's put white. The border color, it's again, let's put it white. Actually, I don't want border color, so let's put Slideshow border with zero. Crop and center, yes, yes, yes. Here's so you can actually choose the transition speed, the transition interval. You can actually put different, you have a bunch of different transition effects. Put some meaningful title. So it's full slideshow web part for SharePoint 2010. Of course, at the end of this webinar, I'll provide you uh, actual links or you can download it okay right now we have it and next thing we see there are no images to the latest picture library so let's go to upload some images I just prepared uh, also eh, I forgot to show it sorry uh, I just prepared also a bunch of 
images I'm going to use. So it's going to be content images, sales chart. Yes, actually, the additional fields I'm telling you, business is booming. Yeah, it's pretty good image to show. So we need to put some description. This is actually why I'm using this or emission generator. So let's put some description that actually will appear on the slideshow over the image. And then you can put any URL. Let's put bing.com. Of course, this will be some existing page when you do your portal. Okay, we have one image. Let's quickly upload two more. It will be pretty enough for this presentation. Here's the green bulb. What we want to say is that SharePoint is green. Again, use the same description. Double it. Here's our Bing.com. And let's upload in the last one. It's one really good looking uh, country house. It's actually the house from my screenshot. Welcome home. Come on, you take basically, you, well, you can see some of the fields are populated because they are, they, they are coming directly from the image. So it's even less work for me. Again, put some description. Wbeam.com and pretty much that's it. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay, nothing here. I forgot to save the page. I'm still edit in edit mode here on the other tab. Okay, as you can see the slideshow. What can we see right now? We just need to expand this image a little bit more. Let's see how much, maybe 20 pixels, 30 pixels. So it's gonna be 610. Also, the preview is gonna be 45. Okay, we just expand it. Of course, it's yeah, and it requires a little bit more, but just uh, I'm not going to do it right now because. You just notice, you just need to play a little bit with it, also I need to expand a little bit this area. So here's actually this cool slideshow, we have the title of the image we put, here's our description and then the rhythm link that goes to bing.com. So right now you can see actually, um, I'm not sure using the remote desktop can you see the sliding but it's really nice slideshow. There's a slow fading that changed the images. It looks really cool. And pretty much we're going to the end of our presentation. You can see from, uh, 30 minutes later we already have really awesome home page that we just achieved with a uh, few images for the backgrounds, then in the logo and a bunch of uh, CSS classes, we basically override it. Then our custom color team for SharePoint and one cool slideshow from the home page. And pretty much that's it. Really, keep really cool looking SharePoint 2010 site. And this is something you can work as a base to start to show it to the clients and start working right away. And I can guarantee pretty much all of the guys uh, you show are going to like it. If somebody wants to have uh, all of the additional images, CSS classes, also the presentation, you can just send me an email and yeah, I'll just provide all of this information for you. Yes, actually the links I used, yes, there's a link for the SPZAP slideshow, for the color code, for the Firebugs and Firefox, and questions and answers. It's going to be, yes, let's wait for questions if you have some. So, for any additional questions you, you have or anything you want, like presentation materials, you can always send an email to me. I'll just leave it for now. 
So feel free to contact me. And again, thank you very much for your attention. And looking forward, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. And right now, you know how easy you can get really awesome homepage for your SharePoint 2010 site.